Hey, Tex. Nice of you to stop by again. Up until sunset, the only people around here are criminals, addicts, and working girls. If you know what I mean. It's a nice place to work, sure. But I'm striking on principle. You know how many jokes I get about memory sticks, hard drives, and RAM? Disgusting. I do see quite a few semi-humans, but they're not Morlocks. Nice hotel. And I've got my eye on that hologram girl at the front desk. You always seem to end up there at some point during your cases. No one knows what these Morlocks are or where they came from, but they seem attracted to this part of town. Do I know Big Jim Slade? Hello? I know all your cases. He was the hitman who was killing all those scientists at Gideon Enterprises who were working on the Overlord. You kicked his ass and sent him to prison for like a thousand life sentences. Beautiful old hotel, haunted as all heck. <laughs> well, my paranormal investigation group has done a few sessions there. Morlocks were the underground flesh eaters in the H.G. Wells time machine. Very scary in the book. But then I saw the movie remake, Lame Sauce. I got a lot more business since they reopened that place. It's pretty damn annoying. It's a warehouse. What else do you want to know? We sell cheap gadgets. If it doesn't have an on-off switch, we don't sell it. I've heard people talking about more locks, but I haven't seen any. Sometimes you hear them, though. It's about time someone fixed up that eyesore. Of course, now it's ridiculously expensive. What could I possibly tell you about a warehouse? I can't imagine for the life of me who would want to remove Margaret's head. Much less take it with them. Margaret! When you're done with this, would you mind if I had it? How am I supposed to compete with that place? I'll tell you how. Commitment to customer service and free HBO. Sorry, I've only got one ladder. That's the ladder of success. Well, I didn't find it. Maybe it rolled out the window. There were a bunch of them around a few days ago, but I'm pretty sure I chased them all off. They did a nice job restoring that, don't you think? It's the crown jewel of this neighborhood. 
And I like that it's attracting a lot of new guests. He was very polite, but not the kind of guy I'd invite to a party. <sighs> Those things give me the creeps. Have you been inside that place? It's like some kind of royal palace. And it's been great for business here at the Bruin Stew. That was something terrible. Just when I thought you two was finally going to get together and be happy, you just disappeared. We was all worried to death. And it was kind of like a miracle when you showed up. They never did find out exactly what happened. I don't know about any shrine, but I helped you get all of Chelsea's stuff out of her apartment. They were gonna sell it and give it away. You said you'd take care of it. I never knew what you did with it. I'm no doctor, but a cup of hot cocoa and a listening ear might be the best medicine. I've been hearing a thing or two about those uh, Morlocks. Some are saying the mutants, but they sound more like lunatics to me. Like the brains are messed up on drugs or something. I, I've never seen any. But I've heard some screaming outside and down in the sewers. I gotta admit, makes me a little nervous. I remember you telling me about your first big case. How it had something to do with uh, Gideon Enterprises. Yeah, I don't know much more than that about them. Things have been a lot better since he took over. He said he'd treat mutants same as norms, and he's been true to his word. Can't ask for more than that. Come down all by yourself this time, eh, Murphy? What do you want? As long as you keep your nose clean, I'm not gonna give you any trouble. Sure, I've heard of Gideon Enterprises, same as I've heard of Microsoft. You should be glad her head wasn't there when we showed up. Not having it was your only alibi. It's like they all escaped from some maximum security insane asylum. You look better. I'm glad. It means there's a higher chance you'll pay your medical bill. Back again? You know I'll have to charge you for all these little chats. This is a neurology clinic, not a hardware store. This is a neurological clinic, not a hardware store. The transinducer was outlawed, and supposedly all the serums were destroyed years ago. But technology like this isn't easy to totally get rid of, I suppose. Hey, Tex. How did it go with St. Germain? Did you find out anything I can help you with? At the risk of sounding like a Luddite, 
I still find those things uncanny and unsettling. I do like talking to a man who likes to talk. He certainly knows the value of his merchandise, and, I must say, his collection of Tesla collectibles is impressive. The owner of the brew and stew? While it will never be confused with world-class cuisine, the diner and its fare has a certain charm. Sometimes nothing beats a well-made grilled cheese sandwich. I like to think of myself as a citizen of the world. 